A while back I had mentioned a video on how to solder that I was going to make a video. Um, well, today's a perfect day. I have uh, had the time to do videos, it's just we're not used to having this much snow in our area, so I've been kind of lazy. So um, today we'll do that. I'm just using a, it's a Tenma digital soldering gun, or iron, whatever you want to call it. Um, digital readout, you can adjust your um, temperature via the knob there, it's got Celsius and Fahrenheit. Just a basic unit. Um, I think those sell for about a hundred bucks, maybe a little more, a little less. But this procedure is the same for, for any gun. So first thing I like to do and that you should do is you want to tin up, you see that's uh, I don't know how well you can actually see that, but you want to tin up your, your tip. So get a little solder on there. Now normally you'll probably have a sponge here. I've since lost the sponge and I'm using a wet paper towel. So get the tip nice and shiny. There you go. The next thing you want to do is whatever you're going to solder to, which in this case is an actual uh, piece of wire, you're going to want to tend that up as well. And we'll move the camera. I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So what I like to do is, uh, and the proper way to tend this up is actually heat up the material first, but I'm kind of limited with my uh, hand movement here. So we're going to heat the solder at the same time. There you go. Okay, so we've got that nice and tinned up. Got our tip tinned up. And every you'll hear this sizzling. I'm in between solders. I'm actually just cleaning it off. You always want to keep your tip clean and tinned. That's uh, one of the keys to a good soldering joint. Now what a lot of people do is they'll put it on and they'll just start smashing the solder into the actual uh, what, into the tip of the gun. Well, you don't want to do that. What you want to do you want to actually heat the surface that you're soldering to first. And we'll see if we can catch this. Hopefully this camera will. So I'm going to hold it on here. And you'll actually see the solder begin to melt. Okay, it's melted. Now the next thing you do, get your little solder. See on the surface? I'm not touching the tip. It's actually melting on the surface. And then simply just your wire to it. Just hold it there. Until it dries. And I've actually got that set on a pretty high setting right now, so it'll melt just about anything. There you go. It's a good solid connection that's not coming off. Shiny, not dry now, or dull. You have a dull looking solder joint, then you've got a cold solder. You don't want a cold solder. So <clears throat> that's just one basic way to solder. Um, this is a rosin core solder. Um, I prefer rosin core. If you would use a, a another type of solder, you can use just a straight solder and use the flux. Um, but that's just one more step you have to follow. So that was just a real quick short video on how to solder. Um, just a basic wire. Um, I'll probably make some more videos on maybe how to solder some, some tubings together or whatnot. Um, I don't think I have anything lying around, but I'll look. Um, and basically it's all the same. You want to heat the surface up first. You know, obviously tin your tip, heat your surface up, and then um, attach whatever you're wanting to solder to that heated surface. And make sure it's tinned as well. You don't want to heat, you don't want to just melt the solder. A lot of people are just, you know, they're putting it on here and they're actually melting the solder onto the tip. That's not the way to do it. That, uh, that'll get you a cold joint and it's just not the way to solder. Also, before you actually turn off your soldering gun, um, you'll want to tin the tip just a little bit. Keep the tip nice and nice and tinned. This has got a lot of dirt on it, actually. It's been out in the garage. And then turn it off. Next time you use it, it'll be nice and clean. So that's about it. Uh, please feel free to post any questions, comments, and uh, rate and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.